What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Mock Draft Guy YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at one of the 2023 draft class's most dynamic wide receivers, Tennessee's Jalen Hyatt. By the way, if you are new to my channel or new to this series, I've done a player profile on a bunch of other top draft prospects, so I'll link the playlist in the top right corner and be sure to check it out if you enjoy this video. In this series, I focus on the player's strengths, weaknesses, scheme fit, team fits, pro comparison, and overall draft projection. So without further delay, let's dive into it. Jalen Hyatt busted out in 2022 as one of the most dynamic wide receivers in college football, which earned him the Blickenoff Award, the first recipient of the award in Volunteers history. To no one's surprise, Hyatt tested out extremely well at the 2023 NFL Combine, besides one drop on a deep pass from Will Levis that everyone seems to focus on. Hyatt had a production score of 88, which was number one amongst wide receivers, an athleticism score of 89, first as well, and overall score of 89, which you guessed it, was number one. He broke out as a junior, earning first-team Associated Press All-American accolades by leading the Vols with 67 receptions, ranking 5th nationally with 1,267 receiving yards and 19.8 yards per reception, and tying the FBS in 2nd with 15 touchdowns in 12 starts. At 6 foot even and 176 pounds, with 4-4 speed, Hyatt has the build and speed to be a true burner at the next level. Hyatt's claim to fame is being a nimble and explosive athlete with effortless acceleration. He has the speed necessary to win most foot races and get behind defenders. Hyatt blends his speed with good route timing that enables him to create leverage and run away from coverage. One area I truly love about Hyatt's game is his ability to adjust routes on the fly and provide an available target to his quarterback. That play recognition and processing is something that just can't be taught. Hyatt has showcased soft and reliable hands with good tracking ability to maximize his opportunities to win the ball downfield. When he is operating after the catch, Hyatt is elusive, explosive, and twitchy, which makes him a dangerous threat with the ball in his hands at any level of the field. Hyatt's ability to win deep sets up the ability to snap off routes and work back down the stem. When it comes to concerns or areas of improvement, there will be a noteworthy transition ahead for Hyatt coming out of the spread offense at Tennessee, which to be fair is a concern I have for most players from Tennessee. There was just so much space available for him to release into and adjust to coverage in Tennessee's offense, so his processing and timing will be challenged at the NFL level. Another cause for concern I have for Hyatt is his slender build. The height isn't necessarily a concern, but his playing weight at 176 pounds does scare me a little. Hyatt won't be known for his physicality or play strength at the position. At Tennessee, Hyatt had very little production that doesn't come from the slot, and his release package has yet to truly be tested. Hyatt also isn't terrific when it comes to making the contested catch, but I think this is also a shout back to the lack of play strength or overall physicality. In terms of a scheme fit for Hyatt, I see him as a perfect complementary receiver and a true deep threat at the next level. Due to Hyatt's strengths and his overall burning speed, I would love to see him in a spread offense in the NFL. An NFC scout said this about Hyatt, quote, When you have someone that could run like Hyatt, you get explosive catches, but it also really benefits your running game because safeties can't get involved as much, unquote. That really is a great way to look at it. Here are some teams that I think could target Jalen Hyatt in the NFL Draft. The Los Angeles Chargers. It's no secret that the Chargers are looking for some serious speed on the outside. I would love to see Jay Herbo slinging bombs downfield to Hyatt on Sundays. The Baltimore Ravens. It's also no secret that the Ravens desperately need help in the receiving department. That lacks some real speed and big playability. The Dallas Cowboys. Man, could you imagine how much more explosive this offense would be with Hyatt clearing space underneath for C.D. Lamb? The Kansas City Chiefs After last season, it's clear that the Chiefs don't actually need a Tyreek Hill replacement. 
but it would be nice to see Patrick Mahomes launching the ball into a different zip code again. The Indianapolis Colts Michael Pittman is a great receiver, but he's definitely more on the possession side. The Colts need a T.Y. Hilton type of player that can blow the top off of the defense. And finally, the Carolina Panthers. After the massive trade-up to the number one overall pick, the Panthers' receiving room is very depleted. My pro comparison for Jalen Hyatt is Deshaun Jackson. I know that's high praise for someone with just one year of solid college production, but the top end speed combined with the ability to truly separate is what does it for me. Prime D-Jax was an explosive play waiting to happen. He had the ability to house it on any play. I see a lot of that in Jalen Hyatt, especially since the height, weight, and speed numbers are all very comparable. Also, totally unrelated. But Deshaun Jackson has very quietly accumulated over 11,000 receiving yards in his career, and I honestly had no idea. Overall, I think that Jalen Hyatt is the ultimate boomer bust prospect in this year's draft. Hyatt has all the makings of an impact weapon at the next level that is a game changer for his offense, given the attention that his skill set demands. While he may not be a number one wide receiver at the next level, he will serve as a dynamic number two option. I think that Jalen Hyatt will be selected inside the top 40 of the 2023 NFL Draft.